Hi everybody, here I have the Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2. It was released on the market at the end of 2024 and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to get started with it and how to wire it to Raspberry Pi 5 following the instructions on the back. Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 comes in a cardboard box. It is a significantly different uh, packaging compared to the first generation of the display that I have. The technical specifications are also better. Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 has a resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels. The active area is 88 millimeters by 155 millimeters so there is this big bezel around the display it is a true multi-touch capacitive touch panel that supports five finger touch as you can see i'm doing a quick unboxing of this 7 inch display and it comes with a bunch of cables there are three cables in total one of these cables is with two wires and it is used to power the display from the 5 volt rail on the Raspberry Pi single board computer. There are two flexible cables. One of them is for the older versions of the Raspberry Pi single board computers and the other one is the one which we're gonna use in this video to connect the display to Raspberry Pi 5. There are also some screws which are needed to assemble the Raspberry Pi single board computer to the display. Apart from Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2, we need a little bit of additional hardware, such as the Raspberry Pi single board computer, in this case Raspberry Pi 5, a micro SD card and an appropriate USB-C power supply. On the micro SD card, I have already flashed an up-to-date version of the Raspberry Pi OS. I highly recommend you to do the same when you are attaching your display to Raspberry Pi 5. Let's start assembling the hardware with the most simple part, plugging the microSD card into the Raspberry Pi 5. After that, let's move on to the steps for assembling the Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 with a Raspberry Pi 5. In this case, the golden flexible cable is required. I'm gonna plug one of its ends, the uh, wider end, to the display. This is a 22-way to 15-way flat flexible cable. Please note that the 22-way end is the smaller end of the cable. So now we are inserting the larger end of the cable into the touch display too. Here is a closer look. In order to plug the cable, I had to lift the retaining clips on the connector on the display. After plugging the cable, I pushed back the retaining clips. The second step of the assembly of the Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 is to plug the two wires for powering the display to the connector on the display. Step number three is to take the Raspberry Pi 5, place it on top of the display and use four screws placed in the mounting holes to assemble the Raspberry Pi 5 to the Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2. For this part of the process I'm going to use a screwdriver. Note that the position of the Raspberry Pi 5 is important. The USB connectors and the Ethernet connectors are on the right side of the screen. This way on the left we'll be able to easily attach the flexible flat cable for the display. On Raspberry Pi 5 there are two appropriate connectors for attaching the display. They are marked with cam slash display. One of them is marked with 0 and the other one is marked with 1. In this case I'm going to use the connector marked with cam slash display 1. Before inserting the cable I have to lift the retaining clips. Very carefully I plug the shorter end of the cable to this connector and after that I simultaneously pushed down both of the retaining clips. Here is a closer look at the result, as you can see the contacts on the flat cable are facing the Ethernet port. It is important to plug the cable in the right direction. The Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 operates at 5 volts. We're gonna power it from the 5 volt rail on Raspberry Pi 5, which means that we're gonna use two pins from the 40 pin header available on Raspberry Pi 5, one of the pins is going to be the 5 volt pin and the other pin is going to be the ground. Pay attention to this because this is a little bit tricky. If you pay close attention to the back of the cardboard box of the Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2, there is a small diagram with instructions how to connect the two wires for powering on the display. Actually, the other end of the connector for the power has only two wires but three pins. Connect this three pin end of the cable to the pins 2, 4 and 6 from the 40 pin 
header of the Raspberry Pi. This way, the red cable for 5 volts goes to pin number 2 on the Raspberry Pi, which provides 5 volts, and the black cable goes to pin number 6, which is ground on the Raspberry Pi 40 pin header. Here's a closer look. So the red cable on the left goes to pin number 2, and the black cable on the right goes to pin number 6. I'm done, I have successfully assembled the Raspberry Pi touch display with Raspberry Pi 5. Now I need to plug a USB-C power supply, this way I'm going to turn on the system and the Raspberry Pi OS from the micro SD card will automatically boot. As I have said previously in the video, I have already flushed the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS with desktop on this micro SD card. By default, the Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 works in portrait mode. As the Raspberry Pi OS loads, you see a loading screen and after that, you will be fully booted in a desktop mode. Furthermore, with Raspberry Pi OS, the touch screen on the Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 should work out of the box. Although, in my opinion, the graphical user interface of Raspberry Pi OS hasn't been optimized for touchscreen experience, I can still open the menu and, for example, launch a calculator. Now, with the magic of video editing, I'm going to speed up this part of the video. I'm playing around uh, just to make sure that the touchscreen display works as expected, and indeed, it works properly. I can uh, use uh, my fingers to open or close uh, windows and applications. I can use the calculator. Uh, the majority of the demo is actually with the calculator. The purpose of this demonstration is not to show you the actual applications, but just to verify that the Raspberry Pi Touch Display Generation 2 works properly uh, after we've uh, connected it to the Raspberry Pi 5. It is a pretty good display and I'm sure it is a perfect fit for interactive projects such as tablets or entertainment systems when the graphical user interface is optimized specifically for this display. We can summarize that the Raspberry Pi Touch Display Generation 2 is a 7-inch multi touchscreen display with resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels. It is powered from 5 volts that are coming from the 40 pin header on Raspberry Pi single board computers. In this quick tutorial I showed you how to connect it to Raspberry Pi 5 but using the other cable in the kit you can also connect it to all the Raspberry Pi single board computers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that now you know how to get started with the Raspberry Pi Touch Display Generation 2 and connect it to a Raspberry Pi 5. As you have seen, the process is simple and straightforward. The Raspberry Pi Touch Display 2 will be available in production until at least January 2030. So it's gonna be here for a while. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and stay tuned for new videos. Hope to see you soon.